What is Project Salvador? It's a plugin for Fusion 360 that uses AR tools to enhance your design. So there's a couple of workflows that we'll go through now, but in essence, you could have a design and you need a, a few ideas on how to tweak it or create a new design. You can use uh, text or images to generate a prompt that would give you an enhanced or different image. So to use Project Salvador, first we're going to go and install the plugin. You can Google it. Um, so Google Project Salvador for Fusion 360 and it will take you to the Autodesk site where you can download the plugin. There is a link in the description if you want to follow that. Um, but make sure you select the correct one. There's Windows and Mac, um, depending on what software or operating system you're using. After that, you should have this menu at the top here, Project Salvador. When you click on it, you get this drop down for Project Salvador and Generate Sketch. Let's go through the workflows and see what we can do. So I'm gonna click up here on Project Salvador you get the same options in the drop down menu there. Um, over here, we want to type in our prompt. So I'm going to just type in black motorbike. And then I will click generate image. Now it's going to use uh, whatever AI tools it's using to generate an image for us. So there we've got our image of a black motorbike. Another option you have here in the text to image is if we click enhance prompt, it's generating an enhanced prompt over here and we'll see it's added a lot more description. So sleek, shiny, matte black motorbike with a streamlined modern design for engineering and product design. So now if I generate image from this prompt, so there's our second image generated from our enhanced prompt. You can see that it's a lot uh, simpler with a plain background, some more solid lines. This is something that would be helpful in terms of designing off of, like having a, being able to sketch it or something like that. Our second workflow is image to image. So if I change the starting prompt here to image, we can click on this button and upload an image from our files, or we can change this to current view and it's going to take a screenshot of what we've currently got on the screen and we can generate an image variation from it. So I click generate image variation. It's going to start that for us. Remember this is using third party AR software. So you're going to need an internet connection for this. Um, it won't work without it. So this one, it wasn't too creative. It's giving us basically what we've got here, a cup with some textured or like marble kind of look and a handle. Um, so not all of them are winners, but you get the idea. If we had something more exciting, we could have uh, maybe had a different variation on that. But that's our second workflow. Our third workflow is image to canvas. So if I go in here and we, like we did before, do a black motorbike. and we go enhance prompt. Let's see what it generates for us this time. Probably gonna be something similar to the last one. Um, once we've generated that image, we can actually add it as a canvas. So now that we've got our design, we can just go out here and select plane and we'll select the plane that we want it on. Let's just get our orientation right click OK and then we can scale it to whatever we want so you just scale it wherever you want and then you can go into your canvases right click on it and calibrate so if I wanted that point to point to be 200 millimeters there we'd have it the fourth workflow is a generate sketch so over here we go click generate sketch and we're going to select the canvas and it's going to work on generating a sketch from our canvas. So there we've got our sketch. Let's uh, close this here and turn off our canvas and see what it looks like. So that's quite a cool, um, 
quite a cool sketch over there what you can do is you can uh, extrude it so if I select the parts to extrude let's make that 10 millimeters it's going to give us a solid body there so again this works best if you've got something with a uh, like a plain background with some solid lines. Project Salvador is quite a fantastic tool. I think um, it's only going to get better over time. So do yourself a favor and go check it out. Links in the description or you can just Google Project Salvador and it'll take you to the Autodesk site. Till next time, bye.